was saying. That was a good one, actually. <laughs> no. I know you're going to like, screw up, but yeah. Mary's father has five daughters. Nana, Nina, Nina Nono. What is the fifth daughter's name? Wait, wait what? Mary's father has five daughters. Nana, Nini, Nini, Nene, no, no. What is the fifth daughter's name? Steve. <laughs> oh my god. That's my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Who was supposed to do that? Bloody, isn't a bloody question. Wait, you can say it again, there you go. Mary's father has five daughters. Oh, <laughs> Mary! <laughs> can, you, can you turn me down a bit? I'm like really loud. <coughs> right. Oh, Jesus. I said turn me down. <laughs> Hello? Did turn you down. Hello? Just... That's better. Right, on you go. In a one story pink house, there was a pink person, a pink cat, a pink fish, a pink computer, a pink chair, a pink table, a pink telephone, a pink shower. Everything was pink. What colour was the stairs? <laughs> it can't be pink. I can't answer pink. <laughs> right, right, go again, go again. In a one story pink house, there was a pink person, a pink cat, a pink fish, a pink computer, a pink chair, a pink table, a pink telephone, a pink shower. Everything was pink. What colour were the stairs? I have to say pink. There weren't any stairs, it was a one story house. Oh, what house? A one story house. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> A dad and his son were riding their bikes and crashed. Two ambulances came and took them to different hospitals. The man's son was in the operating room and the doctor said, I can't operate on you. You're my son. How is this possible? Again, please. <laughs> A dad and his son were riding their bikes and crashed. Two ambulances came and took them to do two different it's not two dying. It's oh, two different hospitals. The man's son was in the operating room and the doctor says, said, I can't operate on you. You're my son. He's number one. He's either God. Oh my God. I can't remember. <laughs> Listen, they ask once again. Right, right. Go again. <laughs> A dad and his son were riding their bikes and crashed. Two ambulances came and took them to two different hospitals. The man's son was in the operating room and the doctor says, I can't operate on you, you're my son. <laughs> what? So, so, they're riding their bike, they have a wee uh -huh. bit of a stumble. Uh-huh. <clears throat> and then an ambulance comes. Two ambulances come. Two one, ambulances, two ambulances. One takes a da. And one takes it to, to two different hospitals. Okay, so one takes the son, one takes the dad. Aye. And they go to two different hospitals. Aye. Wait. And the, doctor, and the doctor says, I can't operate on you because you're my son. Wait, read me the first bit again. A dad and his son were riding their bikes and cars. It's, it's not his dad. No. Oh. <laughs> it just says, I don't know. The doctor is his mum. Hi, <laughs> I'm sure it's in the question. <laughs> it is. The it doesn't say his mum operates at all. Look, it says in the operating room, and the doctor says, I can't operate on you, you're my son. <laughs> the doctor said it. Aye, but how am I supposed to know that's his mum? <laughs> I guessed. <laughs> He's a wee bastard. <laughs> I mean that in the technical sense. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, you 
we'll get this one. What travels around the world but stays in one spot? A tree. <laughs> hey, I found an answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't exactly go around the world, but it moves in the same path. Um. <laughs> Think of what you're saying here, Cameron. <laughs> the trees don't move in the world. Right? <laughs> yeah, but the world rotates. Is that your final answer, a tree? I'm guessing no. <laughs> okay. so the, answer is a, the answer is a stamp. What? what? So the stamp stays in the one space spot. But in the way it's asking the question, it technically does he? <laughs> what occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, and never in 1,000 years? You don't look at this one either. Oh. So once in a what? What occurs once in a minute, twice in a moment, and never in 1,000 years? I was thinking of clips, but twice. Hmm. Once in a minute and twice in a moment. Uh-huh. But in 1,000 years. An alien? The letter M. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's such a good one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Right, this one you'll no get. Well, you might get that, actually. Take away my first letter, and I still sound the same. Take away my last letter, I still sound the same. Even take away my letter in the middle, I will still sound the same. I'm the I am a five letter word, what am I? You'll know where this I don't even know I don't know how you get this. There or whale. No, uh, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> 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 I was thinking I was thinking of, like where where and whale. But that still doesn't make sense. Okay. Well, Say again, I yes. <laughs> take away my first letter and I still sound the same. Take away my last letter, I still sound the same. Even take away my letter in the middle, I still sound the same. I'm a five letter word, what am I? E. <laughs> That's my final answer. I think it is. What does the answer is? Empty. Empty. <laughs> <laughs> what is that said to say? Empty. Empty. What? Oh, sorry, the box is empty. <laughs> or it's empty. <laughs> e M P. No, wait, E M P T Y. That's a four letter word. No, it's no! <laughs> e M P T. Oh, there we go, five. <laughs> no, it's funny, I used my left hand to count up four, I used my right hand to count up five. <laughs> oh. A house has four walls, all of the walls are facing south, and the bear is circling the house. What colour is the bear? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> a house has four walls <laughs> all the walls are facing the south and the bear is circling the house what colour is the bear? wait you actually go to the right there I know, a polar bear <laughs> sitting on the south pole I'm a genius <laughs> but they see how all four walls can still face south <laughs> what is it, the end of a rainbow? a pot of gold and a <laughs> leprechaun <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer. Uh, people, <laughs> it's just nothing. It's just everyday life. The letter W. 
Oh, for God's sake. Wait, wait, how's the question worded? What is at the end of a rainbow? I see there. Yeah. What is at the end of a rainbow? It's cheating. A man was driving his truck. His lights were not on. The moon was not out. Up ahead, a woman was crossing the street. How did he see her? She had a torch. It was a bright sunny day. God! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 what? <laughs> a pretty silly day. Oh, God. A frog jumped into a pot of cream and started treading, treading, treading. I don't know. He soon felt something solid under his feet and was able to hop out of the pot. What did he, what did the frog, frog feel under his feet? They bought me the pot. The frog felt butter under his feet because he churned the cream and made butter. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what the actual hell? <laughs> oh. oh, that's a big one. That's a biggie. What has a what has a head but never weeps? Oh, never mind. Never mind that. That's fine. Uh, the Smith family is a very wealthy family that lives in a big circular home. One morning, Mr. Smith woke up and saw a strawberry jam stain on his new carpet. He found out that everyone who was there that morning had a jam sandwich. By reading the following excuses, he figured out who spilled the jam. Billy Smith. I was outside playing basketball. The maid. I was dusting the corners of the house. Chief. I was starting to make lunch for later. Who is lying? Who is lying? Uh, oh, I could say excuse. The maid. Oh, you're right. <sighs> Who does the corner of this? God. <laughs> it was the maid. The house is suckler. It has some corners. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. You say, Who does the corner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's no way anybody could answer that. Well, <laughs> apart from my logic, there's no way anybody else could answer that. A circle house. It's a hobbit skin. <laughs> Let's see what other is there. <laughs> oh, crap. Unplug my Beatles mic. and brain to the oh, Mars. Headphones. I'm back. Tough, soft riddles. Oh, I see. There he is. I just cut my own foot with my own toenail. Ew. <laughs> well, I don't think it's cut, it's scratched. It's quite a long one, actually. A traveller comes to a fork in the road, which leads to two, two villages. In one village, the people always tell lies, and in the other village, the people always tell the truth. The traveller needs to, to conduct business in the village where everyone tells the truth. A man from one village... Man of, the man from one of the villages is standing in the middle of the fork, but there is no indication of which village he is from. The traveller traveler approaches the man and asks him one question. From the villager's answer, he knows which road to follow. What did the traveller ask? That's such a good one. I, can, I already know the answer to this day and I haven't even looked at the answer. Because yeah, obviously he could be lying, right? Uh-huh. I've not looked to answer, so it's, uh, I, I've got my guess. Hmm. How did you think a question that quick? Didn't you? You saw the answer. <laughs> you asked me oh. one question. So, a village, aye. Like, think about it. One village lies, one tells the truth. He goes to ask the villager. Anyway, like, one question. I know I, I like I like I know this. Trust me, I've done it before. Like everyone's done this in their life. Well, I'm guessing it's reverse psychology. <laughs> Aye. So it is. Aye. Wait.
Ja, das ist wie das Same bei Hindum. No, das ist nicht so, das Villager ist standing there. What? The Villager is always standing there, there's no sign or anything. Ah, I thought you said the, the Villager is no standing there. Oh, God. I think can you just ask him for directions? Oh, or yeah. ask him where he's no from? <sighs> no, I see the answer. I think that you ask him where the line Village is. They'll lie. Well, that's a bit of simplistic answer, Adam. I don't know. Maybe I could have asked that. Oh, right. Oh, I think we're both wrong. What did you say? He, he asked him where he's not from. Oh, well, I think we're both wrong then. The traveller asked which road goes to your village. He would then uh, take the road to the village I pointed to because a truthful person would point towards the truthful village, and the liar would also point to the truthful village since he is a liar. And therefore, he could not point to his own village. Ah. Uh, no. What did, what did they ask him? Like, where's the truthful village? What? Which road goes to your village? Oh, right, his village. Aye. aye, yeah, I get it. Aye, oh, that's good. That was good. <laughs> A man walks into an art gal gallery, gallery and concentrates on one picture in particular. The museum curator notices this and asks the man why is, he's, why is he so interested in the one painting. The man replies, brothers and sisters have, have I none, but the man's father is my father's son. Brothers and sisters I have none. I have none, but that man's father is my father's son. Who is in the painting? The guy was looking at a painting, right? Step brother. <laughs> the brothers and sisters have I none, but the man's father and the fa my father's son. Do I know the answer? What? The son of the man who was studying the painting. What? <laughs> the man replies, brothers and sisters I have none, have I none, but that man's father is my father's son. See? I don't get that. That man's father, man's father is my father's son. That man, in the but picture, that, is his father. His, his, is my th father's son. So that father is my father's son? No, he's the father, he's the son, in the picture. Let's just move on. <laughs> I'm so confused with that. Uh, name four days of the week that start with the letter T. P. T. T. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Wait. Think about it now. Four days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, they start and end. The start and the end? Aye, well, Monday, Tuesday. The start of the week and the end of the week. No, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday. <laughs> you only know because you... It's Thursday... F Tuesday, Thursday, though. Yeah, they're bit, they're bit so they... The answer is... Weekend? Tuesday, Thursday, today and tomorrow. Really? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> right, right, it's my turn, right? Oh, crap. Stoned up. Right. Here goes my bad reading skills. <laughs> what? There is a story that a man and not a man saw and did not see a bird and not a bird perched on a branch and not a branch 
and hit him. <laughs> and did not hit him with a rock and not a rock. What are you reading? What? <laughs> <laughs> there is a story that a man and not a man saw and did not see a bird and not a bird perched on a branch and not a branch and hit him and did not hit him with a rock and not a rock. He's high. The answer is, what? I eat you. <laughs> I eat you. What? Who <laughs> did not see well saw a bat perched on a reed and threw him a perched stone which he missed. How are you meant to get that? <laughs> I didn't even make sense. I didn't even understand that. <laughs> uh, what's it? Ew. Ew. Notch. What the hell? I need to a man who, by common definition of the term, may have been castrated. <laughs> Typically epic. Enough in his life. <laughs> Tell us, change his major hormonal. <laughs> See, if you click on Google Images, you get a quite a nasty photo. I know. I know, it's, it's so weird. I don't even. I don't even get the riddle still. <laughs> Who did not see? Uh, ew, you did not see Wells saw a bat perched on How a he his box at you, <laughs> and threw a pumice stone at him. What's a pumice stone? <laughs> See if it hits a bit of, or a kidney stone. No. Oh. Specimen of highly promised pumas at a volcano in Tenerife. Oh for God's sake. It's How are you meant to get <laughs> volcanic rock? <laughs> Seriously, you must be some sad weirdo <laughs> to this riddle. Seriously. Oh my god. Oh my, I've got a good riddle for you. Oh, what is it? Oh, look at the kind of balls I've got a, a sweet little rock from a little volcano in Tennessee. Uh, Tell me, Fabian. Same thing. This, these are terrible, by the way. When my first, when my first is a task to ask. Oh, what? what? Just to help that you like just. When my first is a task to a young girl of spirit, and my second confines her to finish the piece, how hard is her fate? But I don't great, see. but how great is her merit? No, all right. Is how great is her merit? If by talking my whole she affects her release. Yeah, I'm. I'm so stupid. I don't even know what merit means. I've heard it. Merit, like, uh, the quality uh, of being part. Like the quality of being particularly good or worthy, especially so as to deserve praise. Oh, it's close. Oh, so how good is our outcome? Good. So when when my first task is to to a young girl of spirit, and my second confines her to finish his piece. How hard is her fate, but how great is her merit if by talking my whole, she affects her release? I don't know. <laughs> you meant to get that? <laughs> Hemlock. What? What? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Get after. <laughs> <laughs> a, a hemlock. Is that not something to do like an Irish kid? Fucking flower tree thing. Hemlock. The hemlock. hemlock. The word hemlock may refer to contents. Plants, communities, bodies right, of water. Plant, right. Other plants. The plant, that's what I mean. Hemlock, hemlock, the Irish. How? Irish folklore. How is that a fake? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. 
<laughs> How hard is our fate? Oh, it's plants. <laughs> it's herbs. Oh, that's a big one. Hey. You've been given the task of transporting 3,000 apples, 1,000 miles from Apple Land to Bananaville. <laughs> <laughs> Your truck can carry a thousand apples at a time. Every time you travel a mile towards Banana, you must pay tax of one apple. But you pay nothing when going the other direction towards Apple Land. What is the highest number of apples you can get through Banana Land? Wait, 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 say again. Bananaville. Bananaville, right. How many miles do you wait. take to get there? I'll read again. You have been given a task of transporting 3,000 apples 1,000 miles away from Appleland to Bananaville. Okay. <laughs> 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 Your truck can carry 1,000 apples at a time. Every time you travel one mile towards Bananaville, you must pay a tax of one apple. But you pay nothing when going in the other direction towards Appleland. What is the highest amount of apples you can get to Bananaville? A thousand. <laughs> no, because you pay what? Aye, it's a thousand miles. Aye, you get none. Aye, but it's technically three thousand miles, and you pay aye. one apple every mile because you make you have to make three trips because you got three thousand apples. Oh, so you hit any apples at the end? You must be none. Hit two thousand at the end. How did you get two thousand? Wait, I don't know what you. So like, what? Eight hundred and thirty-three apples. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Step one: first, you want to make three trips of one thousand apples, three hundred and thirty-three miles. What? Three three. You will be left with two thousand and one apples. And go 667 miles to go. Right, so you're using up 333 miles. And you're dropping all them off at a stop there. Step 2. Next you want to take 2 trips of 1,000 apples. 500 miles you will be left with 1,000 apples. And 167 miles to go. You have to leave an apple behind. Step 3. Finally you have to at least... What? Finally you have to travel travel at least 167 miles with one load of 1,000 apples and are left with 883 apples in Bananaville. That is some sophisticated shiz right there. You're a riddle, that's actually just, here's a, <laughs> here's a mass question for you, get it answered. <sighs> question. Some Sam, <laughs> some Sam and Product Pete <laughs> product Pete. Daily product goods. Product Pete. Some Sam and Product Pete are in a class when their teacher gives Sam the sum of two numbers and Pete the product of the same two numbers. <laughs> These numbers are greater than or equal to two. They, mu they must figure out the two numbers. Sam, I don't know what the numbers are, Pete. Pete, I knew you didn't know the numbers, but neither do I. Sam, in that case, I do know the numbers. What are the numbers? S wait, wait, <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Some Sam and Product Pete are in a class where the teacher gives Sam the sum of two numbers and Pete the product of the same two numbers. These numbers are greater than... No, I greater than or equal to two. You must figure out the two numbers. Sam says, I don't know what the numbers are, Pete. Pete says, I knew you didn't know the numbers, but neither do I. Sam says, in that case, I do know the numbers. What are the numbers? Fuck, two. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. But there's two numbers. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, oh, I forgot about like, it. like, oh, this is actually a maths question. I'm not even joking. You should see this answer. Like, the numbers are three and four. <laughs> Since Sam knows the sum of the numbers x plus y, <laughs> this is a maths question. He would only know the answer immediately if the sum was four, <laughs> four bracket two plus two bracket so four times two times. 
I four times two times three, or five bracket three plus two. <laughs> then when Pete, n who knows X and Y, knew that Sam didn't know the answer. No, didn't know the product. What's the answer? Must have several numbers to add up to the sum. Seven equals three plus four. Seven equals five plus two. When Pete doesn't know the answer at this point, we know the product must have more than one pair of variable factors. No, Twelve yeah. equals three just times four. Twelve he equals does. six times six times two. At this point, Sam knows Sam knows the numbers are three and four because they are the only numbers that meet the criteria. What criteria is that? <laughs> Alright, right, here's a riddle. Is it? I think. I hope. A fast, a, a fast food restaurant sells chicken in order of 6, 9 and 20. What is the largest number of pieces of chicken you cannot order from this restaurant? What? 6, 9 and 20? That's what they can order, eh? Mm -hmm. What is the largest number of pieces of chicken you cannot order from this restaurant? Um... Infinite. <laughs> Wait. 21. 21 21 <laughs> This is the stupidest thing I've ever typed in a Google What? The answer is 19 billion What? No, this is just my guess <laughs> oh. I typed in how many chickens are on the planet <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be it too 43 <laughs> Oh, they've added them all together I think Oh! No. Wait. No. Uh -uh. I don't know. No. What? This is another maths question, but I thought this was it. After six all number divisible by three, oh my god, <coughs> can be ordered. Basi because they can all be expressed as the sum of sixes and nines, after 26 all numbers are divisible by three, when subtracted by 20 can be obtained after 46, all the numbers are divisible with 5, 3, subtracted by 40 can be obtained. <laughs> after 46, all the numbers fit into one of these three categories, so all the numbers can be obtained. 43 is, <coughs> is the, least, the last number that doesn't fall into these categories. 44 equals 20 plus 6 times 4. 45 6 times 6 plus 9 <laughs> These aren't even riddles <sighs> Different website Different website Which is not a bloody riddle Is that a bloody riddle What is as big as you are And yet doesn't not Doesn't weigh anything My cotton account okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that slabby meat weighs something. Big as you, but it's weighing mass. I'll weigh something. I'm just trying to get scientific gear. Uh, your shadow. What? Your shadow. What if it was a dark day? <laughs> what would it be day with it? <laughs> oh wow! Two cannibals. Oh, wow! Two cannibals were chatting as they had done their dinner. <laughs> Why? One complained that he really quite disliked his new mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> what was the advice given to him by his companion? Yeah. <laughs> That's a second. The answer is. Should've had sauce. <laughs> yes, that's it. Should've had garlic. <laughs> so, just finish your vegetables. Oh. <laughs> I was close. I was close. Oh, <coughs> wait. Is it by any chance his mother in law? One complained that he didn't really think that he didn't really quite like. Oh, for God's sake. One complained that he really quite liked. Oh my god, quite disliked his mother in law. I bet it is his mother in law. Paul's weight is six feet. Why did I say weight? Height. <laughs> Paul's height is six feet. I weigh six feet. feet. <laughs> <laughs> he 
need to get to the gym. He's an assistant at the butcher shop and wears size 9 shoes. What does he weigh? The fuck? Wait, so he weighs his height? He's 6 feet? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Wait, so he's he's, height's... Hey, Paul's height is 6 feet. He's an assistant at the butcher shop and he wears size 9 shoes. What is his weight? Or what does he weigh? Uh, six or nine, fifteen stone. Right. It's not even a number, Adam. <laughs> Wait, what? Is it not? No. Right, so, right. You want an answer? Wait, so he weighed six feet. He's a size. Nine. He's never weighed six feet. He was, he was he's six feet. Size six. <laughs> he was he was six feet tall. He's an assistant at a butcher shop, and he wears size nine shoes. What does he weigh? Pigs. Me. <laughs> oh yes, he got it. Me. <laughs> well done. Uh. <laughs> I see what you did there, boy. <laughs> right. What types of words are these? Oh, god damn it, all of these. What types of words are these? Madam, civic, I, level. Say that again? Madam, civic, I, level. Right. That's the three words. What type of words are they? Madam, civic, I, level. I'm sure it says civic, it's C-I-V-I-C, that's civic, isn't it? What kind of word is it? Huh. I don't know, it sounds like a car kind of name. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Eh. What is it? They're palindromes. They don't like oh. to use that sound, do you know what that is, eh? A palindrome? Uh, no. No? Yeah, they can read the same backwards. That's what they can follow. They can read what? Backwards? You can say them backwards as they are forward. Oh, right. So, madame is M A D A M. So, it's M A D A M backwards. Civic is C I V I C. And I is E Y U L S M U L. Why did you not say good old race car in there? What ends everything always? Do you ken what I was just about to say when I read when I finished reading that? <coughs> what? The they answer? May, they may not. They may have a racist that you could ever say. Wait, say that again? <laughs> well, it's everything always. I was about to say black people. <laughs> what? That's really, that's really. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like. I don't know how that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I apologise to all the blacks out there. I love your faces. I don't know how that's racist. What well, ends everything always, and I say black people, that is racist, and I'm done saying it, right? Okay, uh, so what ends everything? Always. Nuclear walls, uh, bombs, nuclear bombs. What? What is it? I don't know if it's... What ends everything always? What ends everything? Always. Everything. Always. And it's saying the alphabet. G. But I don't know if it's meaning in the alphabet, the letter in the alphabet, G. It must be. It must be G. Whatever. What ends everything? Always. It must be G. Oh, I just showed Because <laughs> everything. G. Thing. ING What ends everything? Oh, G I mean. <laughs> got a shit one. Okay. When you have me you feel like you're sharing me. But if you if you do share me, you don't have me. What am I? I 
like it. Doritos. Yeah, a secret. Oh. <laughs> a cowboy rode into town on Friday. Stayed three days and rode out again on Friday. What? How did he do that? Oh, well, I've heard this one. His name, his first name's Tuesday. Am I right? No, Tuesday. His first name is Friday, but you made me, you made me get that, so I'll give you credit. Oh. Tuesday. Where did Tuesday come from? I don't know. Oh, maybe it is Tuesday. No, because he rode in on Friday. So his horse must be named Freddy. See if it's Tuesday. Aye, his horse name is Freddy. <laughs> I don't know what I heard. <coughs> I heard that fact, Carly. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I am such a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> I know I'm not saying sorry. The person who makes it has no need for it. The person who purchases it does not use it. The person who does use it does not know how he or how he or she is. What? What? <laughs> I'll read it again. The person who makes it has no need for it. The person who purchases it does not use it. The person who does use it does not know he or she is. What is it? A gift. Is it? A coffin. <laughs> what? Did that just go? <laughs> a coffin. <laughs> I think at the end, but the, the person who does, the person who does use it, does not know he or she is. Oh, right, doesn't know me. They're using it. I get. Not decrepit, indeed. Depends if you buy your own coffin. You might know. <laughs> it's an insect. And the first part of his name is another insect. What is it? What? It's an insect, right? Mm -hmm. And the first part of his name is another insect. What is it? Insect. <laughs> make some noise, um, <coughs> right, I'll see. What? what? Is it literally like an, an alien, a proper insect? It is an insect, right? And the first part of his name, oh, is the name of another insect. Guess what it is? Is it a proper insect? Ah, it's eh? a proper insect. Wait. This answer may not actually be right. No, it's a beetle. B. Adam. That makes. Wait. It's an insect, and the first part of the name is the name of another insect. What is it? A beetle. B. Beetle. B. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you get it? Uh, two fathers, two sons go fishing. Each of them catches one fish. So, why do they bring home only three fish? Wait, say that again. Two fathers and two sons go fishing. Each of them catches one fish. So, why do they bring home only three fish? Now, I know that only at certain fisheries, you're only you've got to put certain fish back. Like you're only allowed a limit of how many fish you're allowed to catch, right? But I know that's too stupid to be the answer. It sounds stupid because one had a baby while well, it's coming out. <laughs> no, so the f so so there's two fathers you're saying, eh? Uh huh. Two sons. Uh huh. And they each catch one fish. So why did they only bring him three? Two fathers, two sons. Because one family doesn't hate get what one thing we've got the rest of them day because it's three sons. The son, the two sons. Oh, get a fish and I get the dad that gets a fish. Am I right? Hey, what'd you say? It's 
because one person, one family doesn't get it, like any fish, but the other one, the dad and the two sons get a fish each. No, but they each catch one fish. Oh. You want to answer this? Uh. Because the fishing group compromises a grandfather, his son, and his grandson, hence three people. So, it's a grandfather, the father, and his son, uh-huh. who is also a father, to his son. So, it's two sons and two fathers. Uh-huh. What is the longest word in English? Alphabet. Supercalifragically, it is one of those. Was that the answer? Oh. Yeah. Smells, because a male exists with two S's. What? Because a male exists between two S's. Right, now. Well, that is a good answer to the riddle. The actual longest English word is... <laughs> you mono ultra microscopic isle a covol- <laughs> canoesis. <laughs> what? I said, oh my god. Yes. It probably is like, or it's like a thing, but that's it, though. <laughs> that is one word. Christ. I used to like a bloody English exam. You can hold it without using your hands or arms. A sock. No, come on. Uh... Uh, you can hold it without using your hands or arms. Now I gave you a hint now. Hands or arms? I'll give you again. You can hold it without using your hands or arms. What is it? Well, that you want the hint again? Uh huh. <laughs> You can oh, hold it. Oh, uh, <laughs> very fucking good. Not. Your breath. <laughs> <laughs> I can hold my breath, no fucking thing. I watch. Then learn. What do the, what do the letter T and an island have in common? Treasure. Let's see if it is. Letter T and. For God's sake. <laughs> It's easy. Uh-huh. Oh, God, uh, they hate something common. Uh-huh. The both of them are in... T. <sighs> oh, for God's sake. What a... He's got it up. <laughs> 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 Which is the word in English that has nine letters and remains a word at each step, even when you remove one letter from it? I read that so bad there. Right up to a single letter remaining. List each letter as you remove them along with the resulting word at each step. Fuck. (laughs) I don't know. Say it again, so you it's a word that sounds the same even if you remove certain mere words. Letters, I should say. Which is the one in English that has nine letters and remains a word each step even when you remove one letter from it, right up to a single letter remaining? Jeez, <sighs> you have to be fucking insane to answer this. Holy shit. <laughs> List each letter as you remove them along... With the resulting word at each step. Empty, no, come on. Uh, a tricky one, actually. Like, what the fuck it was? Did it tricky one? I don't know. I don't want me. I don't want me. Wait. I didn't get the question. Apparently it's startling. 
is the word being by removing I makes it starting. When oh. <coughs> them take away T, make it staring, and so on. String, sting, sing, sin, in, and I. What? Damn, he's a bloody degree and well, everything just Which degrees. word in the English? What word in English has many letters and remains a oh remains a word each state you move on. I didn't know it was removed already. Complete the sequence of letter O T T F F S S. It's got three other ones. After it. O T T S. O T T F F S S, and it's got three other letters you've got to complete. Suck my ass, not going. Uh... O T Say it again. Oh I get it. Complete the sequence of letters. O T T F F S S and there's three to go. So get your fingers out right and go O T T F F S S and you've got three missing. Would you like to know what it is? Something to do with numbers. Uh huh. So if you get, get your fingers at right, go. O, zero. T. Two. Or two, T. Zero, really, Adam? Zero. O. Zero. Oh, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> One. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Three. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I see, I see, I see. So what's the, what's the letter then? So I'm going to say five then, so it'll be S, S, Well, no, I, no, I said S, S is part of it, so it's E and T, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Sixteen. From the beginning of eternity to the end of time and space to the, the beginning of every... Oh, to be end of every end, and the end of every place, what am I? Say that again. From the beginning of the <coughs> of eternity to the end of time and space, to the beginning of every <coughs> end, and the end of every place. From the beginning of eternity mm. to the end of time and space, to the beginning of every end and the end of every place. End. Oh, for fuck's sake, cause I don't know why he wants. <laughs> Just tell me, I don't know what this is. E. From the beginning of eternity to the end of time and space to the end of every end. Oh, that makes sense. And the end, uh, from the beginning of every end and to the end of every place. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that one right when you read it to me? I go I go all the way in the world, but I stay in a corner. Who am I? Oh, I still I still one. How is that a stamp one? Eh? Hi. <laughs> no, I just that's a different one then. No, no, but you never seen Corey. You said please. No, I I didn't get. I'm obviously I obviously got a different riddle for you. God. No, but it was still I go all around the world, but I stay the same place. Who? What am I? No, same. I say, I say, stay in the same spot. Oh, did he? <laughs> yes. What is black and white and red all over? A newspaper. A newspaper. Oh. No, it's actually a joke, I think. <laughs> an embarrassed zebra. <laughs> a what? An embarrassed. An, an embarrassed zebra. 
It's a bit embarrassed. Oh. I can run, but I can't walk. A mouth. What? Oh. That's... Oh, it's wooden now. I can run, but I can't walk. A mouth, but I can't talk. A head, but I can't think. A bed, but I can't sleep. Who am I? A head, but I can't talk. Uh, I can, you can run, but you can't walk. He's got a mouth, but he can't talk. No, I can... No, a head, but I can't talk. Either. I can run, but I can't walk. He's got a mouth, but he can't talk. He's got a head, but he can't think. And he's got a bed, but he can't sleep. A dream. Uh, I've never heard head in this right now. River. What? A river runs. A river's got a mouth. But can't talk, obviously. I then it came by head comes through. It must be just a name for the start of it. And it's got a river bed, which you can't sleep. <laughs> uh, I'm where yesterday falls today, and tomorrow's in the middle. What am I? Uh, so tomorrow is today. Right, I'm where yesterday falls today, and uh -huh. tomorrow's in the middle. Midnight. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. What is it? A dictionary. Oh. I'm where yesterday follows that. today. Yesterday. Oh, fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> 21. <laughs> well, until I am measured, until I am measured, I am not known yet how you miss me when I have flown. What am I? Repeat. Until I am measured, I'm not known. Yet, how you miss me when I have flown? What am I? Wind? Point. Point. That makes no sense whatsoever, but. Once I have flown. Once, wait, say that again. Once I have flown. Until I am measured, I am not known. Uh -huh. Yet, how you miss me when I have flown? Yeah, uh, this is. Definition of a riddle. I'm going to have to show myself an answer. Yeah, you can tell me if I, if I would get it. Oh. Oh, that's, that's good. You got what that is yet? No. Time. Oh, God's sake. Until it's measured, it's not known. But you'll miss it if it's flown. That's why we left one, isn't it? What does man love more than life, fear more than death, on mortal strife? What do the poor have, what the rich require? It's the same as yours, isn't it? Uh -huh. And what contented men desire? What does the miser spend? Miso? I don't know. The spendthrift save and all men carry to their graves. Nothing. Nothing. That's a wee bit more worded bear. I think I had the rich choir though. Because they've no got it. They've got they've got they've no got oh, it. Oh I get it, I get it. <laughs> well, you can carry you can carry a suit to your grave. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I stand when I am sitting and jump when I am walking. Who am I? You seem bold. <laughs> I jump when I'm sitting. I, I stand when I am sitting and I jump when I am walking. A frog. See, I was thinking like rabbit or something, but it's a kangaroo. Oh, well, I see what I'm getting the, the stand for, I guess. And when it walks, it has to jump, doesn't it? 
A certain five letter word becomes shorter when you add two letters Empty. to it. No shot. Oh. Get wrecked. Oh. <laughs> Am I right? Instead Short, eh? Right? There was another one that says if you add two letters, it makes. Ooh. How long is the answer to this question? Full stop. How long is the answer to this question? Full stop. Oh, I don't know. I think it's like you have to count everything what's on the. What is the answer to this question? There's no question marks, no question. Nothing. Oh, I knew that. What? <laughs> I love how it's got like these wee smiley faces right at the end. Guess what it is? What? How long? <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> How long is the answer to this question? And it's not got a question mark, so it's not asking a question, so it's telling you the answer to the question. How long? I, at the end it says, I am sure you, after reading through these riddles you would have travelled into the past. These were mere... These were mere drop in the endless ocean of riddles that test your wit Tickle and funny and your funny one. So, does that mean technically? Think a joke is a riddle. World's hardest riddle. Oh my god! Alright, that's the answer, that's the answer, that's it. I turn polar bears white, I and I will make you cry. I make guys have to pee, and girls comb their hair. I make celebrities look stupid, and normal people look like celebrities. I turn pancakes brown, and I make champagne bubble. If you sne if you squeeze me, I'll poop. If you look at me, you'll poop. Can you answer this riddle? Uh, there's no way we're going to answer it. It's the world's hardest riddle. Well, these are the world's hardest riddles. Um, right, so I turn polar bears white. Wait, is there even an answer to it? No. I, there is. I turn polar bears white and I'll make you cry. I make guys what? have to pee and go girls comb their hair. I make celebrities look stupid and normal people look like celebrities. I turn pancakes brown and make your champagne bubble. If you squeeze me, I have poop. If you look at me, you poop. Can you answer this question? No riddle for me. Opinion. The answer is no. You yeah, wanted a bloody hard riddle, you did Let's see. Bloody. Explanation. Well, many people argue that the answer to the riddle is pressure. The fact of the matter. That the only question that has been asked in the riddle is can you answer the riddle? Oh No. Oh I mean it's not asking you what it is, is it? Benny it's like, it's got two answers then, yes or no. Wrong. No, because if you look at pressure, nah, it's no pressure. So it's it's no. These are some other really hard riddles that have also been steady competitors for the title of the hardest riddle in the world. Some of these riddles have been given below. So now you're thinking, okay. so that's the hardest riddle in the world. Oh shit! Pretty sure there's no. Probably, there's probably harder riddles out there. Here's another one. If you look, you cannot see me. <clears throat> and if you see me, you cannot see anything else. I can make any th anything you want happen, but later everything goes back to normal. What am I? See? A dream. That's what I was thinking. Imagination. Of course. It's really hard. Like, a dream is an imagination, <laughs> so... 
We've got the answer right. A man is travelling to a town and comes to a fork on the road uh, and he goes left of the wires really. Oh, that's why that's quite a hard riddle. You're killed in a plane crash and you and find yourself at What? <laughs> you are killed in a plane crash and find yourself at two doors. One leads to heaven and the other leads to hell. The troll at each door and the troll at each door and the trolls are in Oh, what the hell am I trying to read? The trolls are identical in every way. You must... <coughs> you find instructions posted on the wall behind you. You can ask a question, ask one question and one question only. And you can only direct... And only direct it to one of the trolls. One troll always lies to you, regardless of your question. And the other always tells you the truth. Only the trolls themselves know which will lie and which will be truthful. And that is all you are told. What one question do you ask? It'll be the same, isn't it? Where do you come from? Oh, it could be, a, it could be, a, it could be I think it's like... What one of you is liar and holds the open who holds the heaven door? His answer. Ask which door the other troll would point to if you asked which door leads to heaven. The troll who lies will be forced to point to the door that leads to hell. Oh, God. And the honest troll would consider the point of view this bloody scrolled in, it's all like in a tiny space. Consider the point of view, the dishonest troll, and also point toward. Wait, did. Towards the door, do you know? What, do they not know? You can't kind of point as you find yourself to the door. <coughs> One door leads to heaven, or leads to hell. <coughs> there is a troll at each door. The trolls are identical in every way. You can. You find instructions posted in the wall behind you. You can ask one question and one question only. Ugh. And you can only direct it. So they get that. Yeah, and you can only direct it to one of the trolls. Direct what? Question. All oh, right. <laughs> direct it to one of the trolls. One of the trolls will always lie you regardless of your question. The other will always tell you the truth. Only the trolls themselves know which will lie and which will tell the truth. And what? And that is all you're told. So you ask, you, you ask which door the other troll would point to, if you asked which door, which door leads to heaven. The troll who lies will be forced to point to the door that leads to hell. And the honest troll would consider the point of view of the dishonest troll and also point to the door there. Why would they why would they consider the point of view of the dishonest troll? Because he's uh, I don't know. If you ask if you ask which door the other troll would point to if you are oh, so if you asked any of them if you ask the lying one which door the truth one would point to, he would have to lie to you, so it would point to hell. Whereas if you ask the, the truth one, would that, what the lying one would point to, he would have to tell you the truth by saying he would point to hell. Mm. Oh, ho, ho. if the chicken says all chickens are liars, is the chicken telling the truth? No, because... No, oh, aye, they are. Because it's, uh... Oh, my God. Oh, fuck, hands are wrong. Aye, because it's an old, like, chicken and turkey or hen. The cockerels are, like, the males or something. I don't know. A chicken cannot talk, Adam. Is that it? <laughs> that was it. <sighs> Just made it harder for himself there. <laughs> A man dies of thirst in his own home. How is this possible? Thirst in his own home. Um, he runs out of water, maybe? 
His electricity bill goes out, his water bill goes out, whatever you want to call it. Well? His house is a boat in the middle of the sea. It's not a middle, you can't, you can't eh? Can I drink sea water? Oh, but you can't... How? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I think it was the middle parts for today with Rainer. Hmm. Let it go. Let it go. Well, I hang out there's. <laughs> Oh, Lee, thank you for listening. Adam? <coughs> <laughs> Adios, amigos.